Hey everyone, welcome back guys, Excalibur here. So in this video, I will show you how to use the Cloud Island. So if you go to your Celestial Island and you will find a Cloud Island. So if you click on this Cloud Island, it's a feature in the game that will give you more power for your most powerful heroes. For example, here I have a Sword Flash Sia as a house holder. And we have four tenants of her each one occupies a house okay and if you click on any of them you will see that it adds attack HP and speed to your householder so multiplied by all the houses you always choose the strongest ones for example I'm using here a Scarlet Queen Halora so how does this work okay so if you go open the cloud island for the first time you will see it like this okay a house in nowhere with nothing uh, unlocked and everything is locked so when you click on construct you will see here that you build these tenant spots with gold and gems so you have six houses four houses in total and two fountains okay so we also have decorations if you want to you know be that guy and add some stuff like this but let's focus on the basics so you have a v4 hero and you want to make this hero stronger so if you click on my sword flash here for example you will see that i'm using four tenants for it what does these tenants exactly do so each tenant will add attack hp and speed to your householder like this like that okay awesome right and we have hp aura and attack aura so this will add a hp fixed hp and this will add fixed attack okay cool cool all right so once you unlock the cloud island you'll find this house here when you construct the four houses my advice is just take a second and look at the tenants for your hero before building and wasting gems on buildings that you are not going to use so if you click on this sheet right here you will find the tenant uh, positions or the hero bond preview for example if i click on the transcendence faction here i'll go with sword flash you will see here that i have in the tenant spot one i have fiona so let's say that i only have fiona in my lineup i don't have any of these other heroes so when you go to construct so search for the tenant number one so this is tenant spot number one hence we want it for fiona so you build only this one till you have all the other tenants okay don't waste uh, your gems and gold because if you build an empty house it doesn't add anything it's just standing there you just wasted like uh, gold and gems in vain okay so this is a tenant for all your heroes so each hero have like a maximum of tenants that you can change between them so you have to choose one of these tenants three is the maximum number and uh, yeah they add attack hp and speed to your main hero the stronger the tenants the stronger the householder okay anyway so you have multiple houses you have multiple heroes each one of these will add hp attack and speed as we discussed earlier so is this necessary yes it is especially early game it will give you uh, some um, stats for your hero especially for eloise which has the easiest tenants ever you can build eloise as a first hero which is she is one of the top ones you build her a house make her v4 and she will clear tons of mods for you this is cloud island as simple as i can explain it okay so householder which is your main carry hero and four houses for the tenants which each tenant will give her uh, stats attack hp and speed so these ha the houses which ones to upgrade first well the strongest ones are the best to upgrade first so like i have the strongest one is scarlet queen halora so logically she is the one that i should upgrade before any other house okay then these two are not that necessary really so you don't have to waste like master toolboxes on them i'm an idiot i did it but you should avoid them unless you have tons of resources and you don't have another house or something so yeah why not extra stats 
Okay, so yeah, there is nothing else to Cloud Island. Just make a V4 hero, slap it in the house, make tenants for her or him, and then you have tons of extra stats for your hero. And how to define the tenants and the householder. So the householder will have like a crown on her head on, or in his on his head, and the tenants will have like this helmet on their heads. Okay, so tenants have helmets and householders have crowns. Cool, cool. So you should build your tenants for the specific hero like for sword flash i need her tenants to be aggressive as possible so for example i have her fiona she's a tenant for sword flash you will see here that i have her as aggressive as possible because all i care about for sword flash is attack so the better you build your heroes the better the, the better you have build your tenants the better stats you will receive so if it's an attack hero, then build the tenants uh, aggressive. If it's an HP hero like Vesa here, then build uh, your heroes, your tenants um, HP oriented. Okay, you get the gist of it. Okay, guys, so nothing else to this really. I just wanted to throw this guide uh, for the beginners. Okay, if you know this already, then you don't really have to watch it. But this is for beginners only. The people who just unlock Cloud Island and they don't know what the heck are they doing. So yeah, I thought just I would throw this uh, guide for them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. So there are a lot of content coming to the channel. So a sub to the channel will be really awesome. Like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So peace.